Hi, I'm Scott. I'm the executive director of the PMA and Space Museum here in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about one of our more iconic aircraft in the collection, the uh, PBY Catalina. Uh, many people are very well aware of this famous, famous aircraft. In fact, it's probably the most recognized uh, amphibious flying aircraft um, ever produced. Uh, it is sentimental, it's iconic, and it did spectacular service during World War II and beyond. Um, the Catalina was first designed to a U.S. Navy contract in 1933 as a pure flying boat. It was later modified to be an amphibian so it could operate off of water as well as landing strips. Um, they were built by several different companies, uh, Consolidated, uh, Boeing in, in Canada built them, and there were some license built versions in Russia. Um, this particular aircraft that we have in our collection uh, was built by a consolidated aircraft in Long Beach, California, and was accepted into service with the Royal Canadian Air Force in January of 1942. Uh, it served for three years on the east coast of Canada with number no. five bomber reconnaissance, doing uh, uh, maritime patrols, convoy escort, and anti-submarine sweeps over the North Atlantic. Um, after the war, it was sold surplus and went through several different hands and different owners. Uh, it served as a, um, a, a a cargo hauler, a pleasure craft. Um, it uh, finally retired from flying in the early 90s and was with the Lone Star Flight Museum in Texas. Um, the interior configuration of the airplane is interesting, and this was not uncommon. Uh, a lot of owners would, would get these aircraft and they would convert them to sort of a flying uh, flying RV, flying Winnebago configuration, so that have beds and bunks and comfort stations. And uh, they would use the, the Catalinas to fly around, uh, often in the lakes in Canada and the Midwest, they'd fly into remote lakes, uh, fish from the boats, go swimming, have holidays, uh, hunting trips. Uh, it wasn't uncommon for some owners to uh, mount a small rowboat between the engines on top of the wings. So when they, when they uh, uh, landed on the lakes to go fishing, they had a little dinghy to, to take off um, down the lake and leave the boat anchored. Um, you know, Catalinas were probably one of the keys for um, ensuring convoy safety in the North Atlantic uh, during World War II, very instrumental in winning the Battle of the Atlantic against the uh, German uh, Kriegsmarine U-boat fleets. Uh, they also did amazing service in the Pacific. Their long range made them critical for reconnaissance. Uh, Catalinas were notable for spotting the Japanese fleet ahead of uh, the Battle of Midway and alerting the US fleet and preparing them uh, and preventing a surprise attack in that case too. Uh, Catalinas were instrumental in air sea rescue. Many, many downed airmen owe their lives to this airplane's versatility. Um, we're really thrilled to have it here. It was a long time coming. Um, one thing that's sort of special about our aircraft here is we've, we, we took the opportunity to display it in um, on a water setting. So we, we constructed a large uh, diorama mimicking, you know, an airplane on the step, either landing or taking off. Uh, gives our visitors a better sense of, of what, a, what an amphibious seaplane is capable of doing. 